At a House Energy and Commerce Committee hearing on Thursday, Congress convened to discuss the future of self-driving cars. While other areas of the country are beginning to take note, Waymos have been cruising through my district for years now. Uh, it has truly been remarkable to see and experience this technology. Leaders from the industry were invited to testify about why the U.S. needs to lead in AV innovation. Jeff Farah is the CEO of the Autonomous Vehicle Industry Association. Those who are passengers in autonomous vehicles quickly become comfortable with the technology and want to experience it again and again. Even those who are not passengers in AVs, but live in areas where AVs operate, become convinced of their safety and benefit. The central focus of the hearing was the need for Congress to create a federal regulatory framework for AVs, rather than leaving it up to the states. John Bazella is with the Alliance for Automotive Innovation. So I think the most important thing that, that this committee needs to consider as it works on this legislation is the preemptive importance of having a robust AV policy at the federal level that is focused on safety. So examples, in California right now, four different equipment standards are being con considered by the Department of Motor Vehicles in California that would be imposed on vehicles. Th this is, this, this is the, the vacuum that has to be filled by the federal government. And while most of the witnesses were bullish on the future, there were concerns, particularly from Catherine Chase, president of the Advocates for Highway Safety. We have significant concerns that absent regulation, that these autonomous vehicles will be put on the roadways and they can already be put on the roadways to test and not comply with any federal regulation now. Congressman Vesey also raised concerns with recent cuts by Trump to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. It says the agency in charge of oversight of autonomous vehicles. Given these layoffs uh, and potential funding cuts across uh, uh, across the uh, National Highway and Traffic and Safety Administration, ordered by Doge and Trump, how can this agency possibly fulfill its responsibility to regulate the AV industry and collect the critical safety data needed when its hands are tied behind its back? In our federal policy recommendations, we, we do request that there is adequate funding for NHTSA and for safety regulators. That is something that you know, is, is up to Congress to ultimately set the levels for that. As the hearing wrapped up, Congressman Fry asked when the U.S. can expect a nationwide rollout. Level 4 autonomous vehicles are, are here. Uh, our, our members have driven more than 145 million autonomous miles on U.S. public roads. That is ever increasing. And so what you are seeing is different types of autonomous vehicles are being deployed in, in different fashions. There are many robo-taxis that are being deployed uh, in, in various U.S. cities, and so that will uh, likely increase over the next course of the next several years. For more clips like this, stay tuned to Congress Clips.